Hello boys and girls, thrill seekers, adventurers, lovers of puzzles, games, and mystery. It is I, Professor Ubik, here in my cubicle. We are going to explore the mystery, the fun, the challenge, the adventure of the Rubik's Cube. That's right, we're going to unlock the cubic dimension and Rubik Tesseracts. Oh, yes, I hope to join here very soon. Until then, I, Professor Rubik, signing off. Have fun, stay creative, see you soon. Yes. Howdy folks, Scott Levkoff, AKA Professor Ubik, creative director with Playable Agency here, to talk with you about my design process using Lightform for Professor Ubik's Cubatory. So this was an immersive project I developed for a local tech company in the San Francisco Bay Area, inspired by a hand-painted suit I had already styled in the spirit of Pete Mondrian's work. I thought, why not take it to the next level with a fully immersive, light form, augmented environment that the suit could live in? So let's take a look at my design process. Starting from the first sketches, I then laid out a main frame of the small set with upcycled gator board, gorilla tape, and then added layers to begin building out the cubes. The cubes were then painted, scanned, and mapped in light form to accentuate the shapes of the cubatory and really make the whole thing sort of pop and seem hyper real. My goal was to create a look that had a bit of a trompe l'oeil effect, or in other words, to trick the viewer's eyes into not quite understanding what they were looking at. Once the set was scanned, I used Lightform Creator to isolate and select specific cubes and areas with effects I thought would accentuate and add to the squareness of the primarily cubist, modern art looking environment with just a bit of added lyricism and motion. You'll see I'm using both generative and video light form effects here in Creator and using a mix of primary colors that match the set and costuming for Professor Ubik's Cubatory. You'll also note that my calibration is a bit off here due to the fact that I was using an older tripod with a loose knob at the tilt axis and my Epson projector kept slipping downward. We'll address calibration and mounting in upcoming Lightform videos. In this instance, I wasn't really too concerned with that, having exact calibration for my animations, but as I continue to work with this project and the Cubatory, I will be using a newer projection tripod for tighter calibration, as well as using a brighter projector to make it really pop and melt some faces, as we like to say. So there you go, folks. Thanks for stopping by the Cubatory. And be sure to take a look at more of the Lightform tutorial videos and experiences we're creating here at Playable.